So I know this is a road trip video, but technically we hit the road two days ago. Yesterday we finished driving the famous Transfiguration Road and today we're starting an epic six-day road trip through Transylvania. We have three stops, the beautiful medieval town of Sigishwara, a Romanian village where we're going to be embracing rural living, and the city of Sibiu, which is where we are right now and that we're going to explore together today. We got here last night and this is our first time exploring the old city and already this place is so so beautiful like we're just walking in the piazza mare the large square and it's just like surrounded by cafes and all these old like historic buildings that i think were like merchant buildings and they have like little squinty eye windows and like the top of the roofs it's very very cool to see and i think Sibiu is supposed to be one of the coolest medieval cities in all of transylvania we only have 24 hours here so it's time to start exploring So nowadays when you walk through the square you see like people eating ice cream, people at the cafes drinking beers, like kids playing in the fountains, but this used to be the place where they held public executions. So in like the 1700s they still had like gallows here and one of the most important counts in Transylvania he was beheaded in the large square and they also had like a cage where they kept people that were like a nuisance to society. So I kind of picture those like movies where they have like the medieval times and people throwing rotten tomatoes and cabbage. So a huge contrast of how it was but now it's a very pleasant place. The simmets, and they have the fried dough thingies that I forgot the name. We haven't tried those yet. I think it's like Gogosu or something. It's similar to like the name of the store. It looks like we're trying it now. So it's uh, Gobrigi Suzanne. Yeah, this one. One. And the Vishina? This one? Yeah. Uh huh. The Sherry. Yeah, Sherry. Yeah, What's this one called? Gogos? What's the name of the. Gogosu. Gogos. And a water, please. Sorry? And a water as well, please. Still water or? Still is good. Still yes. But I think this is gogush, gogush. I have no idea. But it's like warm, nice and greasy, <laughs> filled with cherry filling. I'm gonna put this down. This one we haven't tried yet. Oh, it's so fluffy. It's pretty heavy too. It's like a pound of fried dough. Nice bite. Mm. <laughs> I taste it immediately. It tastes like an olive bowl. And like the Dutch like fried dough. And Dutch is not as like pretty, they just like throw the dough in the in oil. Cherry jam. Mm. How happy are you? If you know me, you know how much I love this in Turkey. They have their own version here. It's called Corbidi. I'm a huge fan. Huge fan. So we're here at this beautiful Lutheran church from the 1300s and there's the girl like, playing the organ and it's so pretty but the reason why we're here is because there's a tower and you can go all the way up and get the best views of Sibiu. I probably should stop doing this. Didn't you get like sick uh -huh. looking down? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm usually here and I'm like, this is really high. Is that so steep? Look at this. Uh, I guess we didn't think about this that well. Gordon is terrified of heights. And here we are inside like a church tower. Just like going up and up and up. So we have like all these little towers. And you can go and check out the views, and this one is the one that has the flatter views. That was really cool. The views from up here are awesome, but now it's lunchtime. We ordered the barbecue ribs because if there's one thing that Romania does very well, it's pork. These look delicious. We're just sitting here. It's a beautiful square, beautiful views. It's time to dig in. We're hungry and sleepy. 
<laughs> so it's time for lunch. Bon appetit. These are weird. You have to hold one of these. So we were walking home and we found like the local market. So we picked up some peaches and some weird things that I don't know. But I'm getting all mixed up with like Turkish and Albanian when I'm trying to speak Romanian. So mutsumesk is thank you in Romanian. And I say mezumek, which is a soup in, in Turkey. <laughs> so I was like, oh, mezumek, mezumek. <laughs> totally wrong. And then he said something else. And I said po, which means yes in Albanian, but it's supposed to be da is yes. So I'm just like all scrambled in my head. Oh my but the guy was very nice. And we got some fresh fruit for the road trip. Ready to hit the road. Road trip Transylvania 2022. <laughs> so technically the road from Sibiu to Sinishwara is only an hour and 45 minutes, but we're taking what we hope is the scenic route. So we're gonna be driving for like three hours total, like at least. Our first stop is a little medieval town called Alba Lulia. I think that's right, I'm not very sure. But there's supposed to be like a very famous like fortress there that's supposed to be incredible. So we're looking forward to it. It's like an hour away on the highway. We're gonna get some lunch there because we hit the road kind of late. And we're already like heading into the mountains, which is awesome. So I didn't know we were going to see any mountains today, but it should be a beautiful drive. It's beautiful. Got some kind of fried dough situation going on here. Topped with shredded cheese. Oh, I, guess. I think we're gonna have to go for it. <laughs> it seems like it's part of a road trip just to eat junk. <laughs> <laughs> so we might as well just embrace it. Yeah. We're going for the langa. Langu. Langush. Langu. Langush. <laughs> Salut. Oh, wow. Pretty hot. Hmm. <laughs> I like this better than with like the jams, and the fried bread with cheese. This is really good. Oh, get your own. <laughs> So it seems like we've made it to paradise, and I doubt we'll show you guys the town because there are just baby animals everywhere. Hi. Hi, puppy. Hi, little thing. Oh, there's a puppy. Oh my gosh. Oh, my goodness. This place is a dream. <laughs> Gordon talking to our host. And we have lions and doggies. We're so happy here. Doggy, kitty. Oh <laughs> a lovely host. She's so sweet and she gave us food. So we managed to leave for Airbnb and we came to the town center. And just look at this behind me. This place is so cute. We can't wait to show you guys around tomorrow. But right now we're super tired and we're gonna have dinner. And I'm so happy. Our Airbnb is so cute. We have the best animals, the best hoes, fresh fruit. We'll show you all of that tomorrow. But now we're gonna have dinner, and I'm just gonna like get here. Frolic. It's just like a place that you just like jump. Look at all these flowers, this is so cute. Good morning. Good morning. We got Coco here, just hanging out with us. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Finally. Hi. Oh and my you goodness, see the little pup. The puppy and I, you're biting me. And the kittens. Oh my gosh. 
that's all for me. Mm -hmm. That was so nice. We really needed the animal therapy because today is September 1st and usually at the end of the month we do like analytics report for our YouTube channel and our social platforms and... Not great. Yeah. They're not great, the numbers. It's always very sad so we definitely appreciate the puppies and the kittens. Very grateful for those little animals. Yeah. Now we're walking to town. This town is incredible. It's so, so beautiful. Do we have a plan? Not much of a plan. We're going to walk around, check out the medieval sites. It's very cool to see like the old like clock tower and different things. Yeah. And there's a distillery in town where we can try some local booze. <laughs> and that's always good. So it should be fun. It also helps with the analytics. <laughs> <laughs> Sigishwara, we have Amara over here. This is so beautiful. <laughs> so the region of Transylvania is famous for its seven fortified cities. Sibiu and Sigishwara are two of the most important but also most beautiful of those fortified cities and they were created by the Saxons which are people that come from Germany and they were kind of brought here or encouraged to come here by the Hungarian Empire and the Hungarians, they wanted like a buffer and like their trade routes or a buffer from like their borders from people that were potentially gonna invade from the East. So that's why all these like fortified cities exist. And this is the most important like watchtower, the clock tower in Sigushwada of this fortified city. Wow. And that's the fun facts of Transylvania. And that's why you see like a lot of like German styling too, with like the colors of the houses, like the squares and just like the overall like architecture. Just started raining. Now we found this cute restaurant, so we're gonna have coffee and wait until it stops raining. <laughs> it stopped raining a little bit. <laughs> now we're walking to the distillery. Like, we're making moves. <laughs> We have this waterproof backpack cover that we can wrap around our heads. And the camera. <laughs> okay, I have to put the camera away now. April, oops, April. 2004 to Silver Medal. Cognac, 1993, 29 year old. Plum, okay. pear, April, cognac, and forest liquor. Okay, thank you. We found the best way to spend a rainy day in Sigishwada. Cheers! Very strong. 50%. Yeah, 50%. So I don't think I mentioned, this is called Palinka in Romania, or at least in Transylvania. It's kind of like a brandy, I guess is how he's explaining it, but apparently in Maramuresh it has a different name, and like Balaha, where Bucharest is, it has a different name, but here in Transylvania it's called Palinka. That's 50% of these alcohol. And in other countries, they still call it brandy. Yes, correct.
That's me after five palinkas. We serve menus. <laughs> Wave the flag. Oh. Really don't break it. <laughs> I don't know if we did a good job showing you guys the town of Sigishwara, but it rained most of the days so and we couldn't show you as much as we wanted to. This was a perfect second stop. We also really, really loved our first stop, the town of Sibiu, but I think we saved the best for last because tomorrow we're driving to a traditional Romanian village and it's, I think, super small. It's a very cute accommodation and there, I think there's a lot of activities where we get to learn about like local living and we're so excited and we can't wait to show you. We'll see you in the morning. Some fruits for the road. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place. <laughs> he offered to give us the cats so we could take them <laughs> back to Florida. Where did you go? Yeah, let's hit the road to Baraot. Baraot. The Romanian village. This is uh, specific from this region, from the settlers, and it's uh, it's with cumin. It's also cumin. Kind of cumin. Oh. You know that little seed. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. it's like 35 degrees. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's so strong. Enjoy. Oh wow! Nice. This is yeah, really nice. Good. It's very nice. How do you call it? Uh, cumin. 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 Yes. Ah. in Hungarian and uh, Kimion in Romanian. Okay. You guys have to see this place. Hello. Hello. How fun is this place? It's, it's like we're 200 years back in time in a Romanian <laughs> village home. We have to follow the guy on his bike to like the back streets of this little village. <laughs> I don't know who or what lives behind here. It's very exciting. This place is awesome. Like the floors are like sloping, very old. Cool Romanian details. I'll check out these door handles. We can lock each other in the bathroom. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> cool light switches. And a very elegant bathroom. Fancy. Complete with a chain toilet that you pull down. <laughs> and fun. A rain shower that I can fit under. A miracle. How about this? What a cozy spot. This place is so cute. Our twin beds pushed together. <laughs> Got the cross above the bed. <laughs> like a good Romanian home. Very traditional. Good morning from a still somewhat drizzly Transylvania. It's been raining for like 48 hours, but today it doesn't really matter because we have two indoor activities planned. So our accommodation here, it's called the Count Galnikoi's guest house. It's very, very cool. They're like in this very small Transylvanian village, but they have all these like activities where you can experience local life in the Romanian villages. So our first stop today is we're going to the local blacksmith to see what a local blacksmith does. And then we're going to make chimney cakes, which in Hungarian is called Gruczkolac. Yeah. Very difficult to pronounce. Also very interesting, this town still speaks Hungarian as their like first language. That's because like Transylvania as a region has been part of the Hungarian kingdom for many different years, like back and forth. And that's why they have Kruczkolac here. Yum! Ah, what a day, huh? And look, guys, look around you. It's fall, y'all. First week of September and the leaves are falling? Yep. Doesn't even happen in Chicago. It's crazy. Go the blacksmith. So now the, he will heat up the, the piece of metal. Uh -huh. That's first step. Yes, 
think something's happening, but we don't know what. She said to stay, but our translator left. Like, yes. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Ah, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. This blacksmith is awesome. We got two new souvenirs. We got a nail and like a little snake figurine. Aww. He's very sweet. He's very it was very interesting to learn about it, like the, how they communicate with like the anvil and the hammers with the apprentice. Right now he doesn't have an apprentice, but still very cool. I think Aymara's gonna be his apprentice. <laughs> I think he told us to stay. I don't know what's happening right now, but. It's all in Hungarian. Yeah, he speaks Hungarian. Most of the village, all of the village speaks Hungarian as their first language. Very, very interesting. Valiza la gare. Valiza la azare ne. Oh, like uh, like for your zipper. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. For your suitcase. Valiza. Uh -huh. Oh, Valiza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suitcase. Suitcase. I guess. Valiza. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so special. What's cool about all this accommodation is that because we're in a little village, they seem to like highlight like all the activities that are done in the village. And what makes me really sad is that he's the last person in the village that does this. So this makes it extra special that we got to to spend some time with him. I hope I wish we spoke the same language, but yeah. that was very nice. He was so sweet. And he has no apprentice right now, so if anyone is interested in becoming yeah. a blacksmith. Yeah, exactly. Come to this little village in Romania. A great spot to learn. Oh, cool so memories. Nice. Yeah, this is special. Or a little snake. Or leaf. He said it could be a necklace for like instead of a zipper. But I think we're gonna make it into a Christmas ornament, so we don't lose it. We're off to start the most delicious activity of the day. We're going to be making this Hungarian dessert called Kurtush. Collage. Nailed it. That's probably not how you say it. I'm going to put the name here. It translates to chimney cake and they are delicious. We already tried them a couple of videos ago. And I can't wait because I love learning how to make new things. And let's see how it goes because they seem pretty difficult to make. So. Yes, yes. The kitchen is not the same. No. 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 Use your muscles. Matyas, hallod, hogy azt mondom meg, hogy karikára sírítsa, karakra. You have to make sure that it's round. Okay. Okay, okay. Make sure that it's not another shape. Okay. 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 This is finished. This is. Okay. This small. Yeah. So very nice. The next step will be to take a knife and cut the dough from the perimeter, from the outside, in a spiral. Uh -huh. And you start to roll it onto the wood okay. in, a, in a circle motion. Uh -huh. So it overlaps, but it, it goes next to each other. It's okay. like a tennis racket. Yes, okay. Hogy én segítem, tekerem neki okay. a fát, és ő, ő akkor csak rakja fel. Ez a Venezuelan style. Good village. <laughs> That looks pretty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So, now we're going to cook the olive oil. Yes, olive oil. Yes, olive oil. 
Ah. It looks good now. Huh. Yeah, it's so good. Oh, yeah. Don't miss the salt. Don't miss the Yes, yes. Where you add the love. Oh, yeah. Not the one. Onto the yeah. fire. Fire. Yeah, good. Fire. <laughs> good. And now it's the fire goes. Okay. 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 I got a lot of help <laughs> making mine. I feel pretty good. Yep. Just bring it here and then put set it down like that. So the handle is up. Yeah. Uh, It has finally stopped raining. We're taking advantage and eating our kuch kuch kalach <laughs> while going for a little stroll through the village. I think there's some farms back there with cows. Let's we'll see if they like try it, chimney try cake. It. No. <laughs> this is the best one you've had. Mm, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's pretty good. This one's mine. I think I made it too thick. It's like a little bit burnt on the outside. Maybe I'm a little bit too soft. On the <laughs> a little bit too soft on the inside. It's still pretty good. It's nice and warm, but I think the professionals do it better. <laughs> We've had better chimney cake than this one, but it was still a lot of fun. Mm. So this one has like orange zest on the dough. Mm. I think it's pretty good. Mine is delicious. I don't know what you're talking about yours. Nice and toasty. Feel the orange flavor. Sugar. Should we trade? This is lunch. <laughs> we can share mine. Try to wake up from a dream. It's harder than it seems. Birds are flying all around. Some fall and hit the ground. This is where. We're on our way back to Brashov to return the car and this was such a special road trip. If you guys come to Romania, you guys have to do it and I'm going to leave a PDF in the description so you guys can download it and check out like all the stops we did, the places we stay, the restaurants, activities, everything is going to be there. And if you guys are enjoying the Romania videos, make sure to keep following along because we're halfway through the travel series. I'm going to link that playlist here so you guys can watch more Romania videos next. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.